During the real estate crash of 2008, our next guest lost her home to foreclosure and had to file bankruptcy. But five years later, she is a self-made millionaire, and she did it by starting a home-based business. Businesswoman and author Tracy Walker joins us this morning. I'm so proud to have you here. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure. What an inspirational story, and I yeah. think you are going to set a great example for people out there who are going through tough times. So yeah. first, let's tell everybody a little more about your story and just how you decided to start over with a home-based business. Yeah, well, you know, the real estate business was great, yeah. and we did extremely well, but after the market crashed, Ugh. I mean, literally all of my deals were stuck in a pipeline, buyers could not get lend get lenders mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. loans, and so we could not, we couldn't have any closings. Oh, yeah. People were flipping and buying pre-construction, yes. and then everything yes. just changed. So what factors should people consider then when they also want to start a home-based business like you decided yeah. to do? Yeah. Well, the number one thing is you have to really understand whether or not you have the flexibility. The average person is still working mm -hmm. a full-time career or a job, and being able to put in at least two to three hours a day is going to be major. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another big thing is the startup cost. Yes. Now this isn't work at home, do things for free. Right. It's like a franchise. You have to have some An investment, investment <laughs> some capital to get things going, mm -hmm. and then some ongoing education. It's going to be important that you have some funds set aside to have education to keep you abreast of what's happening in the market. Absolutely. And you did that and you yeah. started. So how did you start your business? Well, I actually got a phone call okay. from a very good friend of mine who was a mortgage banker at the time. Uh -huh. And he goes, listen, we've got to find a way to supplement our income. Okay. Uh, and so I saw a presentation, basically. Mm. Uh, about how to market online and how you can take a passion or a hobby and get the word out about it. And when you learn some very specific strategies, yes. you can actually generate an income and it can be very lucrative. Yes, and you are a perfect example of that. So let's talk about that. What is the trick to starting and having that successful home-based business? Well, I think there's five things. There's okay. five tricks. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. The first thing is that you have to decide whether you really have a desire to be your own boss. You okay. Know, there's no one telling you what to do. Yes. There's no one ma making you get up early in the morning. And there's no one holding your hand, so to speak. Right. So you have to have self-initiative. You have to have that because otherwise yes. the accountability factor is gone. That's right. You've mm -hmm. got to be accountable for yourself. True. The true. second thing is you've got to find a mentor, okay. someone who's already gone the road, down the road that you want to go, mm -hmm. and actually learn from them. It's really good. good advice, yeah. really good advice. And what would the third tip be? The third thing would be do what they tell you to do. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> the average person will find a mentor to say, okay, I'm going to do everything you say, and uh -huh. then they do the complete opposite, and so then they true. wonder why they don't get the results that they want. That is such a true <laughs> point. It is so true. And what would the fourth one be? The fourth thing is literally you have to create a feasible game plan for okay. success. Like, so you have to be realistic, right? got to be realistic. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to make $5,000 in a month, that's great, mm -hmm. but if you want to make $30,000 in a month and you've never done this before, yes. to put yourself under the gun to have that done in 30 days, mm -hmm. it's kind of not real. So right. having a feasible, realistic game plan is going to be critical. That is so true. Yeah, you don't want unpractical goals because then you don't achieve them. Exactly. And then you get let down and not yes. as motivated. Yes. So, And then what would your fifth and final one be? The fifth thing is to execute that plan no matter what. Okay. Just keep going. Don't stop. And you will eventually get the results you want. You're going to yeah. tweak along the way. It's okay. You're going to adjust. Yes. But just continue to execute the plan until you get the results the results you want. There's always bumps along the road. You're always, always. going to face obstacles. That yes. probably just makes you stronger. Absolutely, it does. Know? In anything. Mm -hmm. It really does. And what I think is really cool is that you created a webinar yeah. series, which is really cool. It's a training series. So tell us a little bit about it and what people can learn from it. Absolutely. This webinar training series is really all about my favorite strategy. Okay. Uh, it's the one that I've used to go from zero to over a million dollars online. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then I teach you how to actually use this strategy and expand yourself globally, how to use it on different social media platforms and how to just do all types of different little funky things on search engines and social media this. networks and all this great stuff. <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm ready. I love this idea. And so how can our viewers find out more and get involved? Absolutely. Well, they can register for the free training okay. at www.learnthesimplesteps.com okay. forward slash New Mexico. Easy enough for me. I want to do what you do. Yeah. I'm inspired. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, it thank is so you. good to meet you. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back.